noodles just got healthier now we have millet noodles everywhere um but i wanted you to think of these three things before buying these packs and feeding them to your kids and your family number 1 check what is the base ingredient of this millet noodles so millets as such is gluten free and they don't have the sticky binding nature like wheat so it has to be mixed with some binding agent the cheapest binding agent is maida so most of the millet noodles in the market has maida as the major ingredient so check that out at the back of the pack in the ingredient section and see and and don't buy those that have maida or called as wheat flour second thing is you also want to know what is the percentage of millets that is um making this pack called as millet noodles the company should be transparently disclosing what is the percentage of millets that they are adding is it 1% or 20% or 30% whatever be it and um fssai does not compulsorily uh say that you have to put in a minimum percentage of millets to call it as millet noodles so um a better brand for you is somebody who's transparent and right out there calls out that yes my millet noodles contain 30% of millets and the rest is whatever ingredient that they add third thing is about psychology so yes millet noodles become a healthier alternative and you start saying yes 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 whenever your kids ask for millet noodles and sooner or later your kids will start saying no 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 for all the delicious healthy um, recipes like idli dosa paratha dal rajma chole puri etc that you make and with so much effort for your children so think about these three things before getting millet noodles into your family